they are jealous, they can't get a man or husband. Unattractive women tend to downplay men and the soft wife life. They tend to talk down about things they can't receive and inherently make the women that do receive these things feel bad. It's okay to want marriage and to live a soft life. The bitterness usually comes from not being able to attain the life you desire while other women do. Stop lying to yourselves and decide today that you will do whatever it takes to get the things you want. Pretty women are often called whores for being desired by men. We are shamed for having more options than regular women. We are hated because we can make men do whatever we want. Getting a man or husband is not just about looks, though, it's more than that. Reasons why you are not getting chose. Restricting yourself to a specific type. Many believe they can only date a certain type of person, however, this often results in overlooking potential partners who might actually be a better fit. It's okay to have standards, but rejecting potential partners based on factors like height or taste in music could mean that you're setting your standards too high. Remember, there's a difference between essential deal-breakers and letting fear of intimacy lead you to dismiss potentially great matches. Overly aggressive pursuit of a partner While it's understandable that you might be eager to find a partner, desperation can be off-putting. Pursuing someone too aggressively can often attract the wrong kind of attention. A balanced approach is key, show interest, but avoid coming off as desperate. Men chase women attract. Holding out for perfection. Reality check, no one is perfect. Not even you. If you're holding out for Mr. Perfect, you might want to ask yourself, is he out of your league? It's important to be realistic in your expectations. Attracting a great partner requires that you also bring something equally appealing to the table. The way we protect ourselves from being used is by being real. If a man is 10 and broke, but you are a 5 and rich he may be be using, you. Men care about looks. Education and job success only puts you around more successful men, it does make you more appealing to them. Avoiding social situations. If you're not putting yourself out there, how do you expect to meet anyone? While online dating can be fruitful for some, it doesn't replace the value of face-to-face -face interaction. Get out there, socialize, and have fun. Acting entitled. Respect is a two-way street. It's unreasonable to expect extravagant gifts or for your date to foot all the bills, especially if you have never received that kind of treatment before or if they can't afford it. If you act entitled, don't be surprised if potential partners lose interest. Surrounding yourself with the wrong crowd. Who you spend time with can influence the people you meet. If your social circle is full of drama and negativity, it might be time to broaden your horizons. Holding on to negative attitudes towards men. Just like women, men can sense negativity, and it can make them uncomfortable. If you carry a negative attitude towards men into your dating life, it might be time to take a break and reassess. Bribing men for dates. If you're resorting to bribes to secure dates, it's time to rethink your approach. Good men value genuine connection over materialistic gestures. This approach may attract the wrong kind of men and deter the good ones. If a man likes you, he will not want you to pay for dates or go half. Lacking self-awareness and social skills. Successful dating requires effective communication and social skills. It also requires taking accountability for things you have done in the past that have negatively affected your dating life. If you struggle in these areas, consider resources or training to improve them. Neglecting personal growth. Everyone has room for improvement. The more you work on yourself, the more attractive you become. Small improvements can have big impacts, so don't shy away from self-improvement. Avoiding these common pitfalls can significantly improve your chances of finding the right partner. Marriage is still the goal. Marriage is often viewed as a significant milestone in many cultures, yet some women may never marry even if they desire to do so. One primary reason is societal and cultural pressures. In some societies, there are stringent expectations that dictate when and how a woman should marry. If a woman does not meet these specific criteria, 
such as marrying by a certain age or fitting into certain social or economic classes, she may find it challenging to find a suitable partner. These pressures can lead to stress and anxiety, making the pursuit of marriage more daunting and less achievable. There are many women crying on the internet about being single, but in the same breath saying dissentier men. We should dissentier bad men and raise our standards, not all men. Another significant factor is the evolving nature of modern relationships and personal priorities. Many women today prioritize their careers, personal growth, and independence. They may focus on achieving educational and professional goals before considering marriage. In doing so, they might surpass the traditional marrying age, which can limit their pool of potential partners or lead them to encounter men who may not be ready for commitment. Furthermore, modern dating dynamics, driven by technology and changing social norms, can complicate the process of finding a compatible partner who shares similar values and life goals. A lot of people were mad at Harrison Bucker for what he said about marriage and kids, but look at older successful women many of them resort to paying matchmakers or using fertility treatments. The reality is other women are lying to these women, so they don't have to compete with you in dating market. Also, many women get degrees and still become a stay-at-home mom or wife. Additionally, personal experiences and self-discovery play a crucial role. Some women might have gone through relationships that left them wary of marriage, whether due to past traumas, negative experiences, or witnessing unhealthy marriages in their families or communities. These experiences can shape their views on marriage and lead them to be more selective or cautious when choosing a life partner. They may prefer to remain single rather than settle for a relationship that does not bring them happiness or fulfillment. You have to choose better. That means waiting longer to be intimate, not dating potential, and not dating financially irresponsible men. It also means being stern about what you require in your relationships. Some women accept whatever then are mad that is what they got. Then they shame the rest of us who have no problem getting a man to commit or to provide.